India's power consumption spiked to an all-time high of 133 billion units in April amid a rise in mercury level in the country. According to India's power ministry, the country's electricity demand is expected to rise to 220 gigawatts in the next two months as the Met Department forecasts above normal maximum temperatures in West Central, Northwest, North and Northeastern regions. It's not surprising then that power-related stocks have been the favorable destinations with investors this year. The stock prices of power sector companies, including power generation and power distribution, have done materially better than the benchmark indices. Shares of companies like Adani Power, Tata Power, Power Grid, and NTPC have surged from 2 to 175% so far this year. In comparison, the S&P BSC Power Index has gained over 35%, while the benchmark S&P BSC Sensex Index declined over 7% during the same period. However, despite the rally, analysts remain bullish on related stocks and expect power utilities to benefit from the spread between rising power demand and acute energy crisis. Many things are likely to change. You know, power tariff, you know, there will be a hike. Now, for Tata Power, they have a coal supply. You know, in the, from Indonesia, they will, they will get it. So, and they are not operating at full capacity. Now, and they have different other businesses also. NTPC will be the major beneficiary of the crisis which we are facing, you know, whatever crisis we are facing, NTPC will be the major beneficiary. So, no, we are uh, uh, positive on NTPC, Tata Power, to an extent Torrent Power. You know. Beyond that, you know, we will not like to look at it. Uh, demand is likely to stay elevated only till June at least. So, and Coal India will be the beneficiary, but Coal India has a problem also. If you look at their expenses, now, employee cost is almost 44, uh, 43-44%. No? So, no, a company where employee cost is no, that high, you know, it will be very difficult for them to make higher margin. That said, some industrial units in states like Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Delhi, Punjab, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu are reportedly considering production cuts amid power outages. Moreover, the dwindling inventory of coal, which contributes nearly 80% of India's power generation, has also failed to keep pace with the elevated energy demand. Though state-owned Coal India has ramped up supplies to power plants by 6.7 metric tons from a year ago, analysts remain uncertain whether the increased output would cater to both international as well as domestic demand. Analysts assume Coal India to benefit from the higher volume growth due to accelerated dispatches of coal to power plants at domestic front. We have already seen a peak power demand of almost 201 gigawatt recently. And this bodes well for higher coal demand in the country as 70% of uh, India's power generation is done through thermal coal plants. Here we see Coal India as the clear beneficiary as this uh, higher coal demand would boost uh, its overall volume growth. It dispatches to the power sector has seen a sharp uptick in the month of April uh, and the volumes are up by 16% by OI. From the power generation company's perspective, we see some impact of uh, uh, fixed cost under recoveries due to coal shortages as it will lower the plant availability factor for thermal power plants. Having said that, uh, we are of the firm view that overall earnings outlook for power generation companies remain intact as they work on the regulated equity model which assures fixed ROE on power generation. We prefer NTPC, Power Grid, Tata Power in the sector and have buy rating on these names. Meanwhile, high prices of imported coal due to geopolitical uncertainties are expected to send power tariffs through the roof. In March, merchant power prices surged to 8.2 rupees per unit as against an average of 4 rupees per unit. According to a report by Crystal Ratings, merchant tariffs could remain over 6 rupees per unit this quarter, the highest in the past five fiscal. Overall, with production reviving to pre-pandemic levels, the need for clean power supply also gives immense scope of growth for the power sector. Therefore, analysts expect the momentum in power stocks has more steam left. Lastly, investors saw market shut on a choppy note as frontline indices Nifty 50 and Sensex closed 0.67% lower each. However, primary markets were abuzz as the mega LIC IPO was subscribed over 2.91 times on the final day. As regards today, investors will watch out for earnings report card of Asian Paints, Sipla, Vodafone Idea and Gujarat Gas. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.